Good morning, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Ali, and happy new year, happy 2022. I hope you all had a lovely holiday season with your family and friends and all your loved ones and are staying safe and healthy. Um, but yeah, happy new year. I am excited to try and really focus on YouTube for the new year. I said that last year, but I'm saying it again this year and I'm hoping I'm gonna stick to it. I really slacked off last year, but I don't know, I think I feel better about it. I think I'm gonna be able to post more, take more video content and then just like share um, more of my life with you guys on YouTube. So today I thought it'd be a really good video to start off the new year by resetting for 2022. It is January 3rd, January 3rd, Monday, January 3rd, and I um, go back to work tomorrow. Like my nine to five starts tomorrow after two weeks off. So, so today's a good day to get all organized. I have quite a lot to do, just like, um, laundry, cleaning the apartment, filming some TikToks, reels. I have an Instagram to take, but I just wanna get all like organized and feel good before I start work tomorrow. So I thought I'd just bring you guys along and share with you what I'm gonna do today. I am gonna start just cleaning and like vacuuming is like number one thing I need to do. Um, and then yeah, just enjoy our day together. So let's start cleaning. recently got hooked on the show Superstore. It's on Netflix and there's six seasons um, and it's a comedy and it's super funny. And it's one of those shows where you uh, like don't really have to pay attention. You can just like do other stuff like what I've been doing cleaning or like on your computer um, but still enjoy it in the background. Same vibe as like Schitt's Creek, New Girl, stuff like that. It was actually just finishing my 2022 vision board or mood board however you want to call it and this is mine i feel like you can't really see it so i'll put it on the screen so you guys can take a peek um i make mine on canva um just because i already have a prescription prescription subscription because i use it for social media but you can also make them on powerpoint and then i just go on pinterest and like if you click any photo on pinterest and then like drag it to your desktop you can download it and then upload it to like PowerPoint or Canva and like make it a collage and make it really cute. So that's how I create my vision board. Um, so I was just finishing that, like the new year. I love the whole goal setting stuff. I've always been a goal setter, I feel, um, especially with social media. Like when I started social media and Instagram, um, I like always wrote down monthly goals of like growth or brands I wanted to work with or like collabs I wanted to land, stuff like that. And one of the biggest things I found with goal setting is, and I don't know if like you're similar to me, but I would confuse habits with goal setting. For example, when I set New Year's resolutions, I always make sure it's something that you can easily say like yes or no to if you achieved, if that makes sense. So like one of the best examples I can give is, let's say you want to get in really good shape. Instead of saying, I want to get in really good shape or I want to start running as a New Year's resolution, put it as like I want to run a 10k or I want to run a 5k or I want to be able to run a I don't know how fast you run a kilometer but like let's say a five minute kilometer I feel like it's quicker than that I don't know um but make it something that you can like look at and be like yes I ran 10k like I, I did a 10k mini marathon or um if you want to lose weight rather than saying lose lose weight like put a specific number and I feel like just having something where you can look and be like yes did that um it's a lot easier like for example for instagram let's say i want to hit 50k in 2022 rather than saying like grow my instagram or grow my social media like putting that specific measurable factor in your goals can like really help a lot and like let you know if you reach them or not if that makes sense um and then 
those are like the goals aspects of like how I always try to put down my news resolutions. And then the habits are what will get you to your goals. So for example, if I'm wanting to grow my Instagram account, my goal is to hit 50K, the habits that will get me there is posting three reels a week or posting every day on Instagram or posting more stories or posting more to my TikTok to draw my audience to my Instagram. It's like figuring out what habits are gonna help you reach that goal. So that's how I like to break down my New Year's resolutions for every goal I write down. I usually do about 10 goals a year. Um, they're not like crazy goals, but they're just things I do want to achieve throughout the year. I know 10 can sound like a lot, but I don't know. I just feel like it's a good number for me personally. And like some are bigger goals, some are like pretty simple goals. Um, and then for every goal, I like to write down like five habits to do that will help me reach that goal. But my personal goals for 2022, and I'll share them with you because it'll make me more, because it will keep me more accountable, is definitely growing my um, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. So my biggest thing for Instagram and TikTok right now is just doubling my follower count on both platforms. And then for YouTube, I want to try to hit like maybe 5K subscribers, 10K. I don't really know. I haven't really thought of like the specific number but i do really want to monetize my youtube and you do that by getting like a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours or something like that i want to make like a certain amount of money from social media and like being self-employed through social media i have a certain number i want to hit and then a few of my other goals were oh i want to travel somewhere i've never been before I want to pay off a certain amount of my student loan. I have a student loan from university and I want to get it down to a certain number this year. I wrote them all down, but that's like a gist. Like I did some financial goals, some social media focus goals, like growth, brands I want to work with, Revolve. I'll tell you guys that one, Revolve. I really want to work with Revolve or like become one of their ambassadors. That'd be really cool. Um, yeah, that's my 2022 spiel. And I really want to give you guys, which I was just thinking about, is I haven't given you an apartment update since my last video in September when I showed you the apartment. So we are gonna do a quick apartment tour and I'm gonna show you guys all the new stuff I've got for my apartment. Okay, so we're at the front door and this is my bathroom. Honestly, nothing new in here other than I got this really cute new print from the opposite wall. I also got more in my bedroom, which I will show you as well, um, but I'll link them down below. This is my bathroom. Nothing very different, very simple. And then we walk down this long hallway. Um, oh, maybe I should make my bed before I give you guys an apartment tour. Okay, because it's not made and I am doing laundry, I'll insert a picture here of what my bedding normally looks like. My bedding is by far my most asked question of where I've got it. And my bedding is from H&M Home and it comes in a white color and a gray color. Um, I obviously have the white, my mom loved it so much, so I actually surprised her at Christmas and I got her the gray one for her. And those two prints are also from the opposite wall that I will again link down below. But I think they're really cute and I think they look nice, like just sort of bringing the whole room together. And then my carpet is from Wayfair. It's actually the one that was in my living room, but I got a new living room rug. So this one came into here. And then we walk into my living room kitchen area. I have this cute clothing rack here, my little island kitchen. And then this is where the new stuff comes in so my rug is from an etsy shop that i don't know the name of but it came from like ireland or something crazy um but i love it i feel like it makes this room look so put together it really brings in the couch and the chair both of these like the chair and the couch are a set um they do come separately but they are meant to be together or like they're the same fabric or whatever they obviously don't have to be together but they're both from struck tube then my cute little coffee table and my new, I actually got this new coffee table book from Urban Outfitters. So, very cute. It's like Andy Warhol, so it has like all of his cool pop, if I can open it, pop art paintings in it. So, I'll be honest, I have not even read it, nor pretty much opened it, but it's pretty. And then over here is just my like TV area, watching Superstore that I was telling you guys about. Cute picture of my sister and me um but yeah i think last apartment tour i showed you guys i don't think i really had any of this or maybe i did i don't think i had my tv on the wall 
but my idea behind this was to have this sort of like a desk so when I work like my 9 to 5 if I just like turn this chair around it can act as a desk but honestly most of the time I just like working on my island because it's way more space bigger I can like have notes out and stuff because that is obviously much smaller but Macy is sleeping right now <laughs> um, and she's destroyed my bar stools. I don't know if you can see that if the camera's picking it up but she uses these bar stools as her scratch pad and she's just actually torn them apart so I've just sort of accepted it whenever I move or get a new apartment I will get new bar stools but it was just like too far gone when I was trying to get her to stop and she just won't so good thing they were cheap but yeah that is my whole apartment tour pretty quick because it's a small but cute little space but yeah um if there's anything I don't like or anything you guys are interested um and where I got it just let me know and I will link it for you now I am just going to start filming some TikToks and reels that I haven't done yet that I really need to do and take some Instagram photos so I will talk to you guys later vlog I wanted to share a few of my new favorite skincare products I have the dry skin ever in the winter time like my whole like area around my nose my forehead flakes like it's it's really bad but one of my new favorites I bought this a few weeks ago is the first aid beauty ultra repair cream I've heard so many people talk about it and I once tried it in like a tester version and I really liked it so I thought I'd get it. It's a huge tub and I think it's like 40 something, $50 but honestly there's so much in there that I feel like it's really um, worth the cost. Like it's a really good value for the cost and I put it everywhere. It says on it you can put it like head to toe but um, I just put it on my face and my neck and it's very moisturizing. Not too thick, which I like, but it's super nice. And then for my body, I also have such dry skin and it gets super itchy in the wintertime because of how dry it is. Um, so I got for Christmas the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream set. So it comes with this, the shower, like shower gel, and then, and then the lip chap which is also super nice, but I don't know where I put it. Anyway, it's super hydrating, and the best thing about it is the smell by far. It smells so good. It's very, like, tropical vacation coconut smell, and honestly, it's just, it's amazing. And then last but not least, for my lips, I have been loving the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. That's, like, everyone has it, but I use it as a chapstick. Like, I don't only wear it at nighttime but you could obviously wear it whenever you want. Um, yeah, I really, really like this one. But if you were someone, I uh, used to be on Accutane, so I used to have like super chapped dry lips that would like crack and be so painful. So if you were someone who suffers from like painful chapped lips and like really, really dry lips, I 100% recommend La Roche-Posay Lip Chap. It is the barrier repairing balm. This one totally saved my lips when I was on Accutane a few years ago or anytime they get so dry that they like crust. Um, so I highly, highly recommend this one. Um, you can get it at Shoppers Drug Mart. I honestly think it's better than Blister. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the vlog off here. The sun's going down. I've pretty much done everything I have to do for today. But I hope you enjoyed the first video of 2022. I hope your new year is off to a really good start. Um, and I'm excited to post more on YouTube. I'm gonna try to do it as best as I can. Comment down below if there's anything you want to see or like specific videos. But yeah, I'm excited to like really focus on YouTube for the new year. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's all linked below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.